You're going to be working around fuel here, so let's take some basic safety precautions. As always, whenever you're working on your vehicle, you should be wearing safety glasses, but now's a good time to put on some gloves to protect your skin. Work in a well-ventilated area without any source of high heat or open flame nearby. Most importantly, you should have the proper type and rated fire extinguisher handy and know how to use it. The first thing you have to do is remove the fuel test port cap as indicated by the green arrow on the fuel rail. Next, install the fuel pressure gauge connecting line, green arrow. Be sure that all test hoses are installed and routed properly, then install the fuel pressure gauge. Next, start or attempt to start the engine. Fuel pressure should be 5 bar or 72.5 pounds per square inch once you test the pressure. Recharge the fuel system by cycling the key or running the fuel pump. Note the fuel pressure. Then turn the ignition off and allow the fuel system to sit under pressure for 15 minutes. Pressure should drop no more than 0.5 bar in that time period. If it drops, you could have a faulty fuel pump check valve or a leak somewhere in the fuel system. Now we move on to electrical testing the working area in the rear of the vehicle. Grab a corner of the rear seat cushion and pull it up to detach the locking tabs. Once you have removed the rear seat, peel the carpet away from the right side rear seat cushion area of the body, green arrow. Hold the carpet out of the way and then remove the four 10 millimeter nuts from the access panel as indicated by the green arrows. Remove the access panel lid from the body by lifting it up. Move away enough to access the electrical connector on the fuel pump module. Now that you have access to the fuel pump terminals, you will connect your digital voltmeter to the terminals by back probing. Connect the voltmeter across the fuel pump terminals. Green arrows point to where the positive leads go and yellow arrow point to where the black lead goes. Press the start stop key like you wanted to start the engine. Allow the engine to crank. If it doesn't start, your voltmeter should read around 10 volts. If no voltage is found, check the ground to the fuel pump and the fuel pump fuse F70 in the junction box. Double check the fuse number with your model specification information. When the start button is pressed, the fuel pump will receive voltage for three to five seconds if the engine doesn't start. I suggest load testing using a test light and a voltmeter. Connect the voltmeter across the fuel pump electrical connection terminals and take a reading. It should read battery volts when the key is turned on. Then connect an incandescent bulb style test light to the battery ground and touch the test light probe tip to the positive wire you are back probing with the meter. Your reading should hold steady. The maximum drop in voltage should only be 0.5 volts. Anything more is a problem. In this photo, the voltage held steady at the current fuel pump demand. To confirm a pump can supply fuel pressure to the fuel rail, you can manually activate the fuel pump. Use a fuse jumper lead set to the battery positive and the battery negative and run the pump. The green arrow points to where the positive lead goes and the yellow arrow points to where the negative lead goes. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.